Hi everybody and big welcome to a card review for the reality ship. Why is my card review text spinning like that? Did it. Got in guys. Now I got into CDH TV. I'm gonna take over this video. Oh I guess he is. Alright, everything seems to be correct. We got the card review text back in order. Alright, here it is. Alright, boys. He hasn't noticed us. Looks like we've hacked into CDH TV. So the reality ship is a 2CMC blue artifact and creature card that allows you to look at the top card of your library and if you equip it, the reconfigure is a equip ability. It's different from equip, but it allows you to attach this creature to another creature. And then as long as the reality ship is to attach to a creature, you may play instant and sorcery spells from the top of your library. This is really similar to Future Sight, but also the commander Elsha of the Infinite that has three colors but Elsha only allows you to cast non-creature spells and you can't actually play lands, while the reality ship allows you to play lands and even cast creatures. <sighs> Mons, come on. He didn't even mention the relationship to Bols of Citadel, a previous top tier card. My God, this guy's just missing everything. So an obvious free card combo here is that you use the reality ship to get it with a Sensei's Divining Top on the CMC 1 colorless and then an Ethereum Sculptor, so that the Sensei's Divining cost, Costing Cost is zero. So you tap it, you draw a card, and Sensei's Divining Top goes to the top of your library, and then you just recast it with the amazing reality ship. And you basically here, you, you draw your entire deck. <laughs> Mons, this is, everyone knows this combo. It's been around for forever, since since the Isochron Scepter days, since the Artifact Storm days. It's, it's, old, it's old as dirt. It's a classic. The guy, man, come on, Mons, not even mentioning how easy this thing is to get out. Not only is it a freaking artifact and a creature, you know, the two easiest uh, card types to get, but it's on 2MV. You can get this with Neoform. You can get it with Eldritch Evolution. You can get it with Transmute Artifact. You can get it with Finale of Devastation. And Mons, even if you're on a budget, you got some options like uh, Tribute Mage. But a big problem with this is that it's actually quite easy to shut it down. You see, you have to equip it to make it functional. So both a Collector Oof and even a Linvala Keeper of Silence, Null Rod and Curse Totem will actually shut this one down. This guy, if you already have it equipped, Mons, he doesn't really care about either of these two things. Just saying, he's missing, keeps missing stuff. But as it's being a creature and artifact at the same time, all forms of removal that is targeting artifact and or creatures will work. So both Social Plowshares and Force of Wiggle will actually interact and stop Reality Ship from doing its stormy thing. You never, you never pay to destroy the chip just as the chip. You wait till they pay the three to configure and then you respond and you killed the creature or the chip, and then they've wasted all that mana. What are you doing? Another really important thing to think about when you're looking at this card is that currently in the format, rule of law effects and even cards like Dranat Magistrate are really popular inside the format. It's currently something of a war between Turbo Storm Adnas versus rule of law stacks. So if you really wanna build the ship, you might need to have some tools inside your deck that is able to actually deal with these really common creatures like Archon of Amir and Dranath Magistrate and other versions of them. Mons, you notice that, you know, these are these are creatures. You notice that toughness thing right there? It says three, right? You know, that means you can run three damage clasms to get rid of these problems, you know, such as Anger of the Gods, Toxic Deluge. There's is, there's multiple kinds. But this one, don't run this one. Regardless of where the chip is, it's gonna kill it. Chip's gonna be gone. I got it. This this creature is just the bee's knees. You can fetch it with Worldly Tutor, Enlightened Tutor, Neoform, all kinds of things. It's on a competitive um, CNC, who, so you can put it. Who are you, and how did you get into my video? D look, don't worry about it. I'm just proxying into the server. I, I, uh, all right, hi, sure. hi. I'm Mons. I, I'm Proxy. Nice to meet you. So here with us today, we have a guest, Proxy the Goat or Proxy the Boat. I've seen several names of you. Here we are talking a little bit about the reality ship that I actually think is quite great. I, I actually like it. This is my favorite card of the set. And the card mm. I think will have, you know, the biggest, not impact because Baseju does exist, but I think in games seen and then cast, aka played, this will lead to more wins than Bosage. Uh, yeah, uh, def definitely. Bosage is like preventing yeah. wins instead of like Bosage is yeah, but good we'll versus this thing. Bosage will help you win. Yeah, Bosage will yeah. help you win in your ad nauseous list. So remove that 
whatever. But yeah, I like, uh, I love this card. I think it's great. I Just actually don't like it as, as a commander because I think there are better options like Elsha of the Infinite. I think Elsha is, a, is literally doing the same thing as the reality ship. You're not allowed to play lands and you're not allowed to play creatures, but that's usually fine. Yeah, also, it's true. Elsha doesn't really need a deck construction demand. If you're running this as a commander, you have to have a bunch of creatures inside your decks that you can actually equip it to. Very true. Thankfully, a lot of them are mana dorks. Some useful, like, recursion or tutor pieces. But you do get access to more colors with Elsha compared to this. This it's is very, only giving it's you... very good. true. Now, sure, you are get costing it first for two mana, and then you're equipping it for three mana, so you're, like, paying two, then paying three, which is easier compared to just paying five straight it's, it's true the, i think the comparisons to future sight are like literal of course but i think this is so much better than future sight due to its mana value and the mm. and you know the fact that's on the it's the most tutorable thing that you can probably find yeah yeah but but that is why i think it's perfect inside the 99 instead of having it as a commander actually so where what commander would you probably put this inside so yeah, there's a few options uh, amongst all the colors but starting with like sort of simic of course you got kinnon you know the sort of boogeyman of simic of just simic good creature decks uh, but also you have lanis who sort of plays the good creature deck but also has a very good artifact base liking artifacts and having academy manufacture both of these can sort of like churn through their deck very quickly and mm. sometimes they can get around like you know the, the summoning sickness of creatures you know, sometimes their combo doesn't really care about that sometimes you know they run haste enablers like when court and crossroads yeah and even uh, if for some reason they aren't able to cast their commander this could be a late a bit of a value engine for them as well yeah getting just value off of this card is pretty good on its own since top deck tutors are also fairly you know played in the format it's a good question if ursa is going to be playing this because ursa is usually playing the poly horror combo but there are a few builds out there that could run it because they aren't on the poly tyrant strategy this being a creature actually affects ursa builds a tiny bit it's an effective body just to gain sort of value on a card type that urza is keen on getting out also the ursa usually has the mana to like easily cause it don't ursa actually play future sight already sometimes sometimes they do run future sight yes this is a this is a much like people can just cut future sight and put this in yeah because this is a lot easier for mono blue to actually tutor compared to a future sight and then we have the farm decks the turbo Adnos decks and there's a bunch of them. I mean, they usually include blue, so they get access to reality ship. Sometimes they usually include red, the Greek colors. Then you have white and green, depending on the commanders that you run. But the reality ship seems like a card that could really help that strategy a bit. Well, it could. It, the, the thing is, is it, it does reward a more, an even more aggressive low MV deck, because then you can hmm. churn through your deck this faster, of course. Yeah, it has a CMC of two. So it doesn't really interrupt Adnos as it's digging during the dig, so to say. Because it has such a low cost to like put it into your Adnos list, the hardest thing is going to find that three mana to pay the reconfigure. But the fact you can pay for the first two and then the three mm. over separate turns, and it does have some effect. Like when it's on the field, it does like being able to look at your top card, like that matters to some extent for fetch lands and knowing yeah. when to crack those. I don't think it's going to be great after resolving an Adnos because first, that's not really what the deck kind of lacks in power. They, when they resolve an Adnos, when they have their like 30 cards in their hand, they're usually quite good at winning. And if you're going to pay five mana to be able to play the top card of your library, usually what you do is just you cause Vamp Tutor to put something that you didn't get through your dig on top. And then you cause your Brainstorm, that's black and blue. Compared to playing like five mana, it's a little bit annoying. Then we have one of our both favorite commander, Cisse, the Weatherlight Captain, something we're uh, both building. One really amazing thing here is that the CMC2 means that CC only needs to be a free free to be able to define this in, let's say, your last opponent's end step, then equip it to CC or anything, and you have a future site, futurable. Eat your heart out, Bulls Citadel. Now we don't need to be running these weird pump effects to get you out turbo speed. Here's my my small little thing on CC. The really neat thing about her is that you only need a, a single legend just on the field, as long as it has a color. Some of the cheapest legends you can run tutor artifacts out of your deck. Both Oswald and Magda are one color legends you can play yeah. early that will boost your CC. That if you just don't get CC, 
CSA, you can use them to get out your win con. And CZ being like a five color deck, if it's this easy to actually get the reality ship in play, you can build the entire deck to function with the reality ship and you have five colors. So you have a lot of access to different kinds of stuff that you want to have here. Then we have the five color king, Kenrif. The, the Return King, that usually also plays Neoform. A good thing to mention is it also pairs well with two of the best sort of lines that Kenrith runs, both involving Spellseeker and more importantly, Breach. Because, you know, really with Breach, Brain Freeze is like really good. Uh, and since you're casting a lot of spells every, anyway, if you get that Brain Freeze off the top, you're probably going to mill your Breach if it's not already in there, or your Savine's Reclamation to get your Breach if it's not already there. And then, you know, you can typically win from there. So as a conclusion, it has a lot of potential. There's definitely going to be a lot of playtesting from people around this card because it also looks like a really fun card to run with. However, it's really hard to say exactly how good it's gonna be. Like, playtesting will really tell the, the truth about its potential. Uh, my favorite thing personally is that we finally, out, out of all these years waiting, get a legendary artifact creature equipment jellyfish to run the command zone. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Hold on a moment, Addy. I'm, I'm just, I'm almost done downloading okay. your information, sending it on the internet, and then deleting your files. Uh, wait, what? D don't worry about it. Just, uh, and you're good. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Player's website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.